So how's it going everybody and welcome to another episode of C. Damon Trek. Well, today and this week for the next eight days we're in Panama City, Panama for Carnival. We're going to spend two days in Panama City and then we're going to go to a town called Agua Dolce for four day, five days of Carnival, come back to Panama City for one night and then fly out the next day. Now the theme of this of this particular uh, installment is traveling light, uh, saving money, but yet not roughing it. So right now we're staying in uh, a Hampton Inn. And I had a Hampton Inn frequent flyer uh, American Express Travelers, tra Travelers card. So what I did was I paid for two nights at 10,000 points a night. So my friend and I uh, Uriah over here, we will not pay anything except for incidental costs. Also, what I wanted to do this trip, because I'm not really doing any mountain climbing or anything like that, I wanted to see if I could get by with two carry-ons so I wouldn't have to pay the extra baggage fee. However, I also have an American Express frequent flyer Delta card and an American uh, and a Visa frequent flyer American Airlines card. What both of those cards allow me to do is bring two checked bags on for free. So my recommendations to you in order to save some money uh, if you want to travel is get yourself some frequent flyer cards. Uh, there's plenty of them out there. And then I'm going to show you what I've packed for eight days because there's no rule out there that you should rough it. So what we have is we have two carry-on bags. The first bag, the little, uh, the little carry-on bag, which is filled with all of your, your little stuff that you got to go through TSA, your masks just in case you need them, uh, some more uh, wipes and uh, toiletries, and then my computer, and just the regular, uh, you know, sunglasses and that sort of stuff. And then the next thing I had is you can even really, in the long run, save yourself some space by just purchasing a lot of this stuff when you get into country, because a lot of it really isn't that expensive anyway. So, but what we have here is I've packed another hat. You gotta have plenty of hats, sunblock, all that stuff. I've got eight pairs of socks. Now, I could have purchased those socks when I got in country just to save a little bit of room, uh, eight pairs of socks. Uh, if push comes to shove, I've got enough socks to work out with at the gym, go out with and stuff like that, and of course wipes and stuff like that. Then, what you see me wearing is what I traveled in. Blue jeans, a shirt, my hat. I only pack one other pair of blue jeans. So I've got workout shorts and runaround shorts, one pair, swim trunks, one pair of like, these would be flip-flops or beach shoes or something like that. Um, three t-shirts that I can easily wash in the sink or use to work out with. My one other pair of blue jeans because while you're at the hotel or something like that, just, just have them cleaned or just go down to one of the local uh, laundry mats and just have it washed up. And then I've got about um, four, uh, five other long sleeve shirts with collars for going out, protecting myself in the sun, and also many of these shirts are made of the material that you can just wash them in the sink or the shower and, and you can wear them again if you're not by, by any um, laundry mats. And then I've got my workout shoes, foot powder, and that sort of thing. And then I've got one little hoodie that just in case it gets a little cool at night so when you're out and about, you always wanna have something like that. And then, I've got the underwear that I'm wearing and four other sets of underwear that when push comes to shove, I'll either wash them in the sink, in the bathroom sink, or I'll, uh, I'll uh, just send them out for cleaning. And that, in it, that right there is everything. So there's no rule that says you have to rough it. There's no rule that says that you have to only spend 10 or $12 a night my friend and I will end up spending about the equivalent of probably $10 a night to stay in this Hampton Inn 
which is a hundred and twenty nine dollar a night room however I'm paying with it with my points so it's going to cost me twenty thousand points if you get a frequent flyer card uh, after you spend a certain amount of money you usually get about fifty thousand points at just for getting the card now of course there are charges and stuff that go along that throughout the year but as long as you pay your card off, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to get caught in that expensive cycle. So my lesson to you is when you're going climbing or you're going trekking or that sort of thing, you really can get by with a minimal amount of clothes. You can save a lot of money by getting these frequent flyer cards. And there's nothing that says you, you have to rough it. So we'll spend two days here and then it will be on to Agua Dolce. So for now, Let's go see what Panama City has to offer.